Hello guys, welcome to a new video series I am starting up, which covers every single class in an overview video through to our elite spec or specializations as more elite specializations are released. The first couple of videos are going to be over the Revenant, breaking down the overview to leveling all the way through to that elite specialization. And yes, I am covering how to level each of these classes. It is in the way to unlock things so that you're dealing more damage and getting through the leveling process faster, even if you do not have the boosts and tomes of knowledge to power level your tomb. First, we are going to go over what makes the Revenant a unique class, and that is in our legendary stances and our energy, our energy regeneration and degeneration. This skill here is associated with Glint, and thus won't be there if you do not have Glint activated. And Glint is one of our stances. You have five legends that you can channel, or be in the stance of, from Legendary Dragon Stance, also called Glint for short, Legendary Dwarf Stance, or Dwarf for short, Legendary Demon Stance, or Demon for short, sometimes called Malix as well, Legendary Centaur Stance, or Ventari for short, and Legendary Assassin Stance, or Shiro or Assassin for short. Glint channels different facets, which have boons related to them and also causes effects. Dwarf Stance is our tanky stance, so if you want more survivability, it is the stance to go with. Malix is our condition damaging stance. Ventari is our healing stance. And Assassin is our power stance. There will be more over stances in the video that covers the stances, so we will do more in-depth looks there. What stances do is actually swap out your heal skill through your elite. So currently I'm channeling Malix or Demon, so my heal skill and through my elite have a lot to do with condition and condition damages. If I swap that, the heal through elite also changes. Each legend also has something that continually consumes energy, or has a downtick of our regeneration here. Glint has that with every single facet. Thus, as an example, if I activate the facet of chaos, these five here vanish and you no longer have a regeneration rate. So if I used a skill, you can see that consumed 10% of my energy. And as it says here, it will consume 10 of my energy. You can see the energy consumption next to the activation time and next between the activation time and the time it takes for the skill to be able to be usable again. For this one, it shows it is shown as a vial which has, says 10 next to it, so it consumes 10 energy. And as you saw after I used it again and it went on cooldown, I consumed another 10 energy, so I'm now at 30% of my maximum energy. If I want that energy back, I deactivate that, and I end up with the regeneration back. This here affects how quickly you are going to be regaining your energy. Each stance also has a specialization associated with it. You have Devastation, which goes with Shiro, and thus affects our power and is what you want to take if you want to do a power build. You have Corruption, which affects Malix, or Demon, and you want to take if you want to deal more condition damage. Retribution is, goes with our Dwarf Stance, and thus it affects how tanky you will be, and even sometimes how much you will have a chance to heal yourself and keep yourself alive. Salvation goes with Vintari and directly affects Vintari's tablet and your healing skills in and of themselves. Invocation goes with every single stance and ties in nicely with all of them. Then you have Herald, which is our elite specialization specialization and allows you to use the weapon of that elite specialization and the legendary dragon stance. If I deactivate it, dragon stance goes away. If I reactivate it, dragon stance comes back. 
The weapons also are associated with each of the legends or stances that you would channel. Sword Sword is goes with Shiro. Hammer goes with Dwarf. Mace Axe goes with Demon. Staff goes with Vintari. And Shield goes with Glint. We only have one underwater weapon, Spear, and our downstate skills. All of these I will go into depth over in the overview of the weapons video. I hope that helps your understanding of the Revenant, and I thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video, which is how to level a Revenant.